back to my channel. I wanted to pop in here really quickly and um, say hello to everyone. And of course, welcome all of my new subscribers. I hope you enjoy my channel. I hope you are all doing well today. Uh, this video is all about transitioning your home from fall, Halloween, to Thanksgiving. And you guys, I don't know where my mind has been. It's been ridiculous. Um, I didn't even know we were that close to Thanksgiving until I saw my calendar and um, we only have two more weeks, you guys. So I'm trying to hurry up and plan everything out, plan our dinner. Um, this year is just going to be us folks and my sister and her little boy and uh, my mom. So it's going to be pretty small. It's just going to be fun. We're going to have a good time and watch some football and watch the Thanksgiving parade. So I'm not that worried. I already know what I'm going to do. I just need to go to the store and get the items now. But... I wanted to pop in here and show you guys what I did to transform my home. I didn't buy anything new. I have um, specifically some Thanksgiving decor like with turkeys and stuff. Um, and I just took that out of my bins. So here we are in my entryway. And if you guys didn't see my Halloween home tour, I'm going to link it down below in my description box. So this is what I did, really easy and simple you guys, for Thanksgiving and pretty much throughout the year. I like to make my home feel very cozy and inviting. So this is what you see when you come into our house. Um, I basically just lay down a throw, it's a throw from Target, I've been having it for two years now or a year and I just lay that down as my first piece this is what started it all and I put all of my orange pumpkins that I have here um, I had these in my dining room and I just switched them over here I added some warmth and texture with the clay pots and then I also added these wired baskets that I had and then I also added this give thanks banner or bunting that I had from Target I really like that it's metal, it's copper, it's like a rose gold copper color, and it really ties in well with my decor. Okay friends, so now we're in our dining room, and this is just, um, sideboard little table that I have here um, so my plan is to put all of our dinner plates and um, you know salad appetizer plates here um, and I still need to put all of our glasses that we're going to use or cups and stuff like that like I said I switched out all of my Halloween orange pumpkins left it all neutral here I added um, my turkey that I thrifted. I really like that caramel color that it has. It stands out with all of the white going on. I added some feathers. Of course my Ray Dunn Friendsgiving platter. My spoon, fork, and knife. And I added the utensils already. And these are just some plates that I put there for now. And then I added this mercury glass pumpkin and some glass jugs. So really, really beautiful and simple. So here for our farmhouse shelves, um, I'll go ahead and put a before picture right now. And then this is the after. Um, I basically left all of my staple pieces. The only thing that I added here on top were the white candlesticks from Ikea. Really simple and really eye-catching 
to add those candlesticks to the vintage springs. I left my mugs there. We are going to use those for Thanksgiving, so um, they won't be there for that day. Um, and I added the white pumpkins from the Target Dollar Spot. Still left all of my jadeite color pieces. And then for my little letter board, I added this fun little menu. It's really fun to use this thing, you guys. Super and fun. And then, of course, I added some wheat stems. Um, I had this little bouquet for two years now. Picked it up from Home Goods, and I really love how it just looks here. My husband was actually playing with me, saying, "I have five bucks. Come on, get cooking." I was like, "No, this is not. It's not for real. It's just a little decor piece. Obviously, for Thanksgiving, um, we are going to have those items." And then here, I added this ceramic pumpkin. Really, really beautiful. And I love that little lace detailing that it has there. Now for my corner shelf here. Neutral pumpkins. All of my white pumpkins that I had for Halloween in my entryway, I moved over here. Still left my fresh flower market sign. You guys don't judge. Um, and then I added some cotton stems on this jug. Have my pumpkin waffles candle going. And then I added this really fun um, patterned bunting. I'm loving the blues and the plaids with all of my decor right now. And then here for our dining room table, I simply just switched out the pillow covers. And I simply just switched them out for these beautiful um, buffalo check ones from Amazon. And these are really, really cheap. I believe they are even less than $5. So if you just go to Amazon and search up fall pillow covers or even Christmas pillow covers, these pop up. They also have them in black. They tie in really well with um, the rest of the decor in the dining room. Really simple and easy to change the whole look. Now for my living room area. I switched out the wreath that I had here. I felt like this was more Thanksgiving-y looking. I switched out the vintage uh, grain sack that we had for this War Eagle Mill fabric that I actually thrifted. Really cheap, really cute, and I'm really loving these colors. So I just draped it here on our ladder. And for our coffee table here, I left everything the same. Um, the only thing I changed were the magazines here. And I just have a um, Better Homes and Garden magazine there. Can't wait to read it. And then over here on our couch, I left the throw the same. I'm really loving, you know, like I said, the textures. Um, for fall right now. The only thing I switched out were these two chicken stripe pillows. I had these in our bedroom and I just switched them out over here and then mixed them up with my neutral pillows. That's one thing I really love changing out are the pillows. They really do make a big statement in your home um, and it's just really amazing how much changing out your pillows makes a difference. So here I just simply switched out the black buffalo print for these ticking stripes and it just made a really big difference. And of course, um, no more bats here. On the little corner table, um, I just took out the little bat from the wreath, added this farmhouse mailbox looking bucket and I added some more wheat stems here just to give it you know a bit of a eye-catching look to it super simple and really ties in well with each other for our kitchen um, I switched out my mug rack um, I switched out my mugs around I just put up all of my Halloween 
and added this little cute guy right here. Home is where you hang your hat and it has orange inside. I also have my gobble mug there. The straws, I just basically left my black and white straws there and I left um, some of these copper straws but they're finishing up already. So I only have one left. Um, I added my spoon rest here. I also have this creamer and sugar. So I just switched those out and then I added this beautiful um, buffalo check gray and white towel here. And then I also put um, the orange pumpkin appetizer plates there. And then here I still have my pumpkin pie spice soap. I'm using the apple cider dish soap. I still have my gather bunting there. I think it ties well with Thanksgiving as well. And then here on this corner, it's all pretty much neutral. I added, I only added these um, napkins that I've been having. And then um, I also added the scale from Hearth and Home line from Magnolia. And then I still left my black and white pumpkin towel and then here I have the happy turkey day platter Let's see what I'm going to use that for so that is pretty much it for this video you guys I hope you got some tips of how to easily transform your home from holiday to holiday and I hope you all have a blessed weekend leave me a comment down below to see if you even decorate for Thanksgiving do you guys decorate for Thanksgiving or do you just skip to Christmas this year I've been noticing so many people are already decorating for Christmas. So I'm just like, no, um, it's so hard to not decorate for Christmas. I'm just really holding myself back right now. And I just really want to decorate for Thanksgiving. Once Thanksgiving is over, I'm full on Christmas mode. So I hope you all have a great weekend. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.